First things first, you know how we do. We got to start off with the Bev. <clears throat> My wife was born and raised in Las Vegas. So today is a very sad day as we say goodbye to another Las Vegas hotel. Today we say goodbye to the Mirage. The Mirage first opened its doors on November 22nd, 1989. 35 years later, July 17th, 2024, it closes its doors for good. Turning off the lights, cashing out all the slots, and deactivating the volcano. The Mirage is shutting down to be revamped under new ownership by the Hard Rock, which is set to open in 2027. Before the Mirage, it had been at least 16 years since any new hotel had been built from scratch on the Strip. The Mirage housed 3,000 rooms, a four-story atrium, and dozens of Canary Island palms, a cool, refreshing waterfall, and even an animal habitat. A hotel casino known as the Castaways occupied a small portion of the property but was demolished to make way for the Mirage. At that time, November of 1989, it was the world's most expensive resort, completed at a cost of... $690 million. It was also amongst the world's largest hotel. The Mirage was the first mega resort to open on the Strip, and its success prompted a building boom in the 1990s for other large resorts along the Strip. Its signature attraction was an erupting volcano. Other attractions included a dolphin habitat, Siegfried and Roy's magic show, you know, the two guys with the white tigers, a show by Cirque du Soleil titled Love, a show featuring music by none other than the Beatles. Anyway, enough of the history lesson. Thinking back, my wife and I actually had done quite a bit in this hotel. We've done date nights at Otoro Robata Grill and Sushi, checked out the dolphins at the Dolphin Habitat, saw the Beatles Love Show, and were even there for opening night of Shin Lim's Magic Limitless. She actually got to meet Shim. I forgot about this until I was putting stuff together to make this video. We were fortunate enough to do a photo shoot in the empty Mirage Theater. Now, obviously, this was back in her influencer days when she was still on Instagram. Yeah, still a really cool thing. Say that we got to do a photo shoot in an empty Vegas theater, which brings us to Today, July 15th, 2024, two days before the Mirage closes his doors for good. I had to call up the usual suspects, the gruesome twosome, my boy Mike Kirschbaum and Cole Curtis. I had to get the band back together to shoot the shit, to shoot photos, to send the Mirage off into the sunset with a final goodbye. We walked around the property a bit, grabbed a drink, of course. and hit all the spots I previously mentioned one last time. The casino was buzzing. There was a lot of people there, of course, doing the same thing we were doing, taking photos, walking around, paying their respects, and just getting their last little bit of the Mirage out of their system as we were two days before it closing, which is now today. Good or bad, it is a part of Las Vegas history. Or should I say, good and bad. It is a part of this city's history. Half the machines were off, but there was still a good majority of machines still on. Now, I assume these people were still gambling up until the last minute to try to hit that $1.6 million jackpot. I mean, how cool of a story would that be? Final days of a hotel, casino, and you hit a milli? Also, side note, we were wondering who the last person would be to take a shit in the hotel. I shot with a variety of cameras, both film and video. If you know me, you know I tend to overdo things, but that's just the way I am. For film, we had the Canon EF and the Contax T2. For film, I had some leftover Aurora 800 by Flickfilm in the 
Minolta Highmatic. So finished that roll off. And then I threw some double cinema in the Canon EF and Kodak 400 in the Contax T2. <clears throat> Overall, I wanted to keep this setup very minimal, very small. So I brought the Canon R5 to vlog with and also just the means of a high resolution video camera on me. I wanted to keep everything small, so I brought one lens. I chose the 15 to 35. I took the battery grip off the body as well. Again, keeping as small of a footprint as I could in mind. And I think that's all I brought as far as that setup. Secondary video was the GoPro Max for behind the scenes, as well as just the 360 vibe of it all. It's just easy to flick that thing on and let it capture everything and then later go in and post and pull and chop what I need. It's great for BTS content as well as I picked up this hot shoe adapter. So I just slide it in the camera's hot shoe and just have it on whichever camera. In this case, it was the Canon EF. So mounted it to the hot shoe and off we went. Quite a few cameras, but in my book, everything had its own distinctive purpose. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. What's up? Yeah. You can look at me, dude. No, I know, but then like. Look at that sunset. Now it looks. Pretty cool. Yeah. Dude, that's sexy. Those are some sexy colors. The machines being off is super eerie very similar to when i saw the last couple days of the tropicana hotel it's not something you're ever really going to see in your lifetime where there's rows of or turned off black slot machines it's just really weird to see a casino or hotel feeling abandoned obviously it's shutting down in a couple days but it's just weird to see slot machines off like that like restaurants closing down storefronts closing down and even a few completely empty storefronts. It felt very apocalyptical, as did Tropicana. The Beatles love sign and the Shin Lim magic show sign were being removed, as well as the giant fish tank was covered up. Hopefully you got to check out the Mirage before it becomes a memory. If so, let me know what your favorite memories were or just any experience you had in general from it. I'd love to hear some stories from you if you have those. I'm bummed another Las Vegas icon is going away. But that being said, I am excited to see what Hard Rock does in its place. Hopefully it's the refresher and revamp the Mirage needed, if that makes sense. This is kind of like their second chance at life. Virgin now is where Hard Rock used to be, a little bit off the strip. This, in my opinion, is kind of Hard Rock's second chance at life to sink or swim. Now they're going to be right on the strip, right in the action. I'm excited to see what they do. And I'm also excited to see what things stay or go transfer over from the Mirage to the Hard Rock like. Is Shin Lim's magic gonna transfer over? Or is MGM gonna move him to a different property? Or is he just gonna be done with Vegas altogether? I'm curious to see things like that. I'm also curious to see what they're gonna do with the landscape in the front where the volcano is or was. Now I've seen renderings of they're gonna put a giant guitar, of course, but the guitar is very vertical, right? Whereas the volcano and the water and all of that took up the whole real estate from literally the driveway to the exit driveway. I'm curious to see what they do with the space. Pretty much wraps this up for this one. Rest in peace, Mirage. You had a decent run. You're actually as old as I am. Yeah, actually, you opened a month after I was born, and hopefully I live a lot longer than dying today. That's getting weird. Sorry. Anyway, just interesting, it just dawned on me that we are the same age. Cheers to uh, 35. Thanks again for watching and listening to me ramble about photography, Las Vegas, film, all of it. Would still like to hear any experiences or memories you have tied to the Mirage or things associated with the Mirage, like the dolphins, tigers, volcano. We'll see ya in the next one. See ya.